attack on the continental United States. The operation was called Dark Winter. Within just a few days, the simulation spiraled out of control. The operation predicted a rapid breakdown in essential institutions, civil disorder, and massive civilian casualties. Dark Winter has revealed how vulnerable we've become. Our lifestyle, our security, our safety, depends on a delicate and unstable economy. We've created a system so complicated that we no longer understand how to control it. Oil, power, shipping, transport. We live in a complex world. And the more complex it gets, the more fragile it becomes. The system is built on a global supply chain that gets things where they're needed, just in time. We've created a house of cards. Remove just one, and everything falls apart. And what's fueling the system? Money. Americans can spend $90 billion in a single day of shopping. Last year, 200 million people swarmed their local stores on November 23rd. We call that day Black Friday. Did you know that a flu virus can survive on the surface of a banknote for up to 17 days? One day, there will be a pandemic. It could begin during the crush of Black Friday sales. A pathogen will jump from tainted banknotes to human skin, onto food, toys, children, and loved ones. By the time patient zero feels the first sore throat, millions of people will already be infected. From this point, the breakdown will happen fast. Day one, hospitals will reach capacity. Panic will strike. Day two, quarantine zones will be established. Resources will be rationed. Transport will go into lockdown. Day three, international trade will stop. The oil will dry up. The stock market will collapse. Day four, the power will fail. The shelves will be empty. The taps will run dry. And once hunger and despair take hold, people will do anything for survival. By day five, everyone will be a potential threat. In 2007, a new presidential directive was signed quietly into law. This maps out the government's response to a crisis, a plan to cope with a real dark winter. It is known as Directive 51. There are rumors of shadow agencies, sleeper cells, covert agents, but nothing can be confirmed. Our complex world is primed for breakdown. And once the chaos strikes, there won't be resources to save us all. The only question left is, what will it take to save what remains? Hello everyone. I'm Niklas Siderstrom, Creative Director at Massive Entertainment. It's a scary question, isn't it? But we have the answer. Today, we're extremely proud and excited to share with you all a whole new entry of one of our most beloved franchises. It has been three weeks since the deadly pandemic hit New York City on Black Friday. So what will it take to save what remains? The Division a classified unit of self-supported tactical agents, our last hope when all else fails. In the Dame game, what you're about to see, my friends and I have been dispatched to the Brooklyn area. With one of us playing on his tablet in real time, we're heading towards a police station we heard was in bad shape.
on the left. She's gone red. I'm low on packs, though. We have to leave it. Hey, guys, I got you on my map, so I will head your way. Sweet. See you in a sec. I'll meet you up on the corner. Okay. Uh, it's clear up this far. Yeah, the intersection's clear. There's some, like, construction site here on the left. We should come back later. We should go to the police station first. Cells over here. Get them out for me, will you? Some more cops in here. Oh, son of a... Listen, the armory is out back. Take whatever you need. The code is SH-1023. The code? Code for the armory. Boys, that'd be that'd be useful. Good to be out of there. Okay, I think that's everybody in this room. Okay, I'm going for the armory. Should be back here. That hallway's clear. I'm still up and running. Go over there. 